do you need power for your external antenna? Last night, I, um, I had my kids in stitches. They're English speaking Australian already. I'm still second language, so a South African, African speaking person. And at the dinner table, because things come up all the time, I said, I want to regurgitate a few topics. Um, <laughs> they really. They, um, they kind of looked at me and I kind of got a sense of um, that this is like, seriously, what are you saying? And, and um, I got the image of Gargamel from the Smurfs and they said, the word you want to use is regurgitate. See, I'm struggling now even. Anyway, so I'm going to regurgitate two topics because they are important. They keep coming up and I want to reuse some old words again. So regurgitate is reuse. So from here on forward, re reuse old material, not for the sake of just creating new content, but because it's such an important topic. Long story short, sorry for a long introduction. First question, do you need power for your external antenna? Now, unfortunately, this is my most disliked video. I've mentioned this before and I will mention this again because it is a question I keep getting and I don't mind, don't mind, I don't mind answering, man, this is a terrible video. I don't mind answering the same question over and over again. And this is not a question that is related to, relating to antenna engineers or people who are in the know. This is relating to everyday users who wants to know, do they need to add power to their antenna? Basically, the answer is absolutely not. There is, of course, all the caveats and to say, well, if there's a filter, there's an amplifier and all sorts of stuff and it's coming more and more into play. So for those who are technical, just, just listen this through and look at, at other videos if you don't like this video. But for people who want to know, do you need external power for your simple antenna? No, you don't. You have a modem such as I have here, the RUT360 from Teltonica. This gets its power. And this device then runs what it needs to run. So normally it has two antennas coming out. So you have the device, you have two antennas coming out here. You replace the antenna with something bigger on the outside. It has a cable, but the modem does all the work. So the modem gives you, well, it reads the signal that comes from the antenna and then takes something, takes it further. So that's all there is to it. You don't need to power up the external antenna. You need to power up the modem. That's the simple answer to that question. The second reusable topic, which I will keep reusing and is my biggest pet peeve, that's why I'll leave it to the end, is can you use a splitter cable to take a single antenna and split it into the two ports? So in other words, you have one antenna. So um, I had one down here. All right, so let's say I have my awesome, all favorite Omni antenna on the roof. I only have one. The urge, because you have two antenna ports, is to take one cable and then split it into the two ports here. Don't do that. It's for many reasons, not a good idea. The first one is the, mo the modem wants to get MIMO multiple. It wants to get two somehow independent individual signals coming in. If you jam one signal into the two ports, you're basically breaking that MIMO feature and you're forcing the antenna to see the same signal twice, which is not going to help the performance, your internet speeds, nothing is going to benefit from that. In fact, it will get worse. The second thing as well is a splitter will half the signal. So a splitter doesn't take exactly the same 100% of this, 100% of, well, doesn't take 100% of this and gives both ports the same, it halves it. So 50% of what comes from this antenna is going to go into one port and 50% to the other port. So you're basically already halving the available power into two separate ports, which again, that's not going to help you at all. So that's the second reason why it's not a good idea. And then the third reason is probably the biggest pet peeve I have is um, you get quite decent splitters. Um, but the splitters that get sold as a solution to this problem is not those ones that are proper in a metal box or so. It's often just a little cable and then the two cables, like you have two TS9 cables, they get jammed into one cable connector here. So one connector would go to, uh, see I don't even have props anymore because I just don't want to have them. But imagine this is one connector, um, one connector and it gets two cables just get wired into the one big connector. That's a bad idea from any antenna and design RF perspective as well, because you are basically compromising on any performance you could get out of a possible splitter. You're breaking the MIMO and you're giving your two ports only half of the available power. So no, can't be done, shouldn't be done. It can be done, but it should not be done. What you would do though, is take one antenna. So I have my um, single antenna again. Routed to one port. So one to one, 
and use the other port with its own internal antenna. That's the best suggestion I can make for that scenario. It's not a bad suggestion. It means your main port, which you will then make that the main port, um, will get a good outdoor signal. And the secondary port, which now turns to really into an auxiliary port for the MIMO, in which, whichever way they want to signal process the stuff inside the modem, doesn't matter. The second port gets a weaker signal, but it gets something that's different, and that is fundamentally the most important thing that you can do for your modem. Never split. I hope those two regurgitated, ah, reused um, topics helps. Um, I am going to reuse them again in 2024 because it's important to understand this and it's always going to be the case um, and, and of course there's a new audience potential next year so it's that's why it's a topic that needs to be discussed time and time again because it's always going to be relevant if you have 5g it's still going to be relevant and if 6g comes along later it's also going to be relevant wi-fi 6 wi-fi 6e this is as important and as relevant as always so it's basic fundamental antenna theory that is very useful to make your internet faster. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.